Television is our eye on the world. Distant historic events, actually witnessed by few, are broadcast on television news to 40 million Americans nightly. Of the hundreds of news stories reported each day, only about 30 can be aired on the local evening shows. In New York, a million viewers tune in Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. Two men Before the, the camera, the familiar anchor man. But behind the camera, and in the control room, lies a world most of us never see. Ready to dissolve the people at silence. Strange jargon fills the air in this electronic world of screens, buttons, marked orders, and millions of dollars worth of equipment. Speaker to Bob Miller, reveal. But the day begins slowly, quietly, in the newsroom. All the day's activity is generated from the assignment desk. Joe, I want you to go to Gold's office, you know, DA Gold's office. Yeah. It is not the anchor men, but the assignment editor who decides which local stories to cover. He's in first at 6 a.m. Aided by his assistant and surrounded by communications equipment, he controls the ever-changing locations of crews and reporters miles away. Hello there, this is unit 11. Okay, Bob, I just wonder if you were uh, on the way. Yes, we're about to get on the west side highway. Well, let me know if we can actually get pictures. The assignment editor checks the newspapers, eight news tickers, press releases, and a day book listing 40 scheduled news events. He monitors the police radio. Then he decides which reporter will go with which crew to which story. Highway. Melba 5-4. Melba Tolliver has been a news reporter since 1967 when she stood in for a striking newswoman. What's happening anyway? No, with you in at 9 a.m. to wait for the assignment editor's decision. She has no idea where she'll be going today. Bert Rimmel is shooting, uh, is shooting Seamus. Van Cannon and, and Lindsay's going to show up for around 10.30. Oh, really? 45 South. Well, maybe I could south. go and shoot it and then uh, do a stand-up. What time is this? At 10.30. I'll give you the landing crew. One of seven crews. The landing crew leaves the plain, inconspicuous ABC building for their unmarked car. In this tough city, identification is an open invitation to danger. Once, a clearly marked ABC car was actually firebombed. With Melba, they speed off to the day's first story. Okay. Inside, a team of desk assistants keeps the newsroom running smoothly. Keeping track of graphics for rear screen projection behind the anchor men, Rushing film to the lab. Make a special report. Grabbing wire stories. And taking phone tips. Gene, demonstration at the Russian consulate, 5.30 tonight. To get stories first and fast, the assignment editor has his own special sources. We have uh, police tipsters down at police headquarters. We often will hear about a story faster by hearing it on the radio. Mainly, I will try to get spot news, if I can at all. There's a fire, disaster, or a riot, or anything like that. Mayor Lindsay actively promotes filmmaking in New York City. Melba's coverage of this stage story will be free publicity for the actors, the movie, and the city's film industry. There are few scoops in television news because most organizations depend upon the same sources. I didn't expect to enjoy this story, but I did try to make it interesting and turned out liking it myself. I enjoyed talking to Diane Cannon on several other occasions, and each one of them has been a joy. And of course, I'm in New York at the prettiest time of the year. I love it here now. And the Central Park is alive, and the blossoms are out, and spring is in the air. It's really beautiful. And to Bert Reynolds. Uh, you know, ordinarily, I, being a reporter, I don't like to believe these handouts, PR notes on, uh, on famous people. But I understand you're a very sharp guy, very quick wit. Uh, yes, and, I am. Uh, <laughs> One of the most difficult aspects of this job is having to report a story directly from the scene. It means getting there, getting the story, and presenting it on film. Very often it means the reporter must go over and over a story until he gets a good take. I picked up a few bits of miscellaneous... <laughs> 
I picked up a few bits of miscellaneous information about this movie that might interest you. Number one, no, let me start again. And there are a few bits of miscellaneous information about this movie you might be interested in. First of all, the title, Seamus. According to director... Yes, Jane. Tony, we need a crew to go on this water main break uh, on East 80th Street. Sometimes, regular programming is interrupted for news bulletins from a specially equipped flash news desk. A major water main break is reported in New York City's Yorkville district. The break in a 48-inch main has flooded streets in the vicinity of East 80th between 2nd and 3rd Avenues and caused traffic in the area to be rerouted. I'm Bob Lake. We'll have complete details on tonight's Eyewitness News at 6. A film crew usually covers four or five stories a day. In their careers, this could add up to some 15,000. The reporter is the director on the scene. I'd like to make a high shot. Not yet, not yet. I understand there's a water line mark over there. And then let's go get Kretschmer. Let me make some of the people in the home looking out the window. How's that look? Well, give me the whole home, why don't Oh, you? yeah. Medium shot, large shot, close up. There's always an eyewitness to tell the story. When it happened, what did you hear, see, and do? I couldn't see anything from my window since there's a terrace, and I went to my living room, looked out, and saw a river on 80th Street. Teamwork on a TV crew doesn't always mean working side by side, but trusting that each is doing his part. Maybe he got sucked well, up sure into I'm, the sewer. <laughs> I'm quite sure he is getting good shots. I just wish I knew exactly where he was. Look at the fish, look at the fish. There's no fish. Wait spots a city official on the scene. Uh, I see Kretschmer uh, yonder uh, there. Why don't we walk up there and go across without drowning? Some reporters let a story like this build itself. A good reporter builds the story. Can this make for firefighting problems? Right now, I understand there was a fire in the neighborhood uh, this morning. No problem at all. Uh, now we got enough water pictures that we can cover any uh, <laughs> your high stuff. Let's wrap it up. The film rolls off to the lab, and Bob Blape is off to another story. Meanwhile, throughout drier parts of the city, ABC crews zero in on other news. Without their work, there's no sound or action, just words like a newspaper or radio story. The cameraman, sound man, and lighting man know how to work together efficiently, even in the midst of noisy demonstrations. Each crew sends in about an hour and a half of film every day. A good television news director is coach, talent scout, manager, and disciplinarian wrapped into one. Al Primo selects the news team that works best together on the air. Policy decisions are hammered out for the executive producer and the assistant news director. Seven key congressional races. My job is basically to provide the direction and the philosophy of the coverage. The whole concept of eyewitness news has been designed to put the trust and the emphasis on the correspondent who is out on the scene. The emphasis here is on communication. What you see on Eyewitness News, or any other news program for that matter, is a team of people. What you don't see is the real news team, which is hundreds of people filming, editing, preparing, and planning, and putting together this vehicle that represents the news. This man never goes on location, never appears on the screen. Yet the producer's decisions affect everything you see on the air. He arranges some 30 stories and 20 commercials to fit exactly into 58 minutes and 57 seconds. And he must bear the burden of killing a finished story. All right. Listen, uh, this, this Shamus thing you did, I've got a, I got a problem tonight. I got about uh, four different stories involved with this, uh, with movies and show business and, oh. and the Vietnam thing, so I'm not gonna be able to use it. Well, then you could just use it tomorrow, you think? You think it'll hold? 
Yeah. Okay. Did you get very upset? No. Not at all. Nothing personal. <laughs> Nine writers transform news agency stories into conversational television style. A separate sheet for each story, so the producer can arrange them at will. Reporters like Bob Lape usually write their own stories, always hoping to read them on the air for the extra pay. Six editors trim down an average of 20 minutes of each batch of film to a few minutes. The film is edited to illustrate the story. They work fast, deciding what to keep, what to throw out. Once edited, the story must be cleared by the producer. Hi, John. Hello, Steve. How's it going with this thing? Well, you've got a lot of time here. Well, how do you want to cut it down? Or? How long is it? It's a minute and 50 now. A minute and 50. I understand uh, Kretschmer had a bad cold. Can you let me listen to his audio a little bit, yeah. please? It'll be one of the gates. It uh, does sound a little funny, but I guess yeah. it's yeah. yeah. we still have some water really it's, It'll work. Uh, it'll uh, it'll how do you sound think? pretty good. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll turn them yes. off gradually yes. further on down, and we'll get the water. How's the B-roll? Well, you have a lot of good scenes of the water yeah, coming down the streets and really funny. out of the building. There he is. Fine, why don't you, uh, let's roll on down in. Let me see the bag. I want to make sure. I love that shot of those guys spinning around. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's take this okay. out. And let's it's going to be on, uh, this goes be on, about... on at your B-roll here. Yeah. It goes about 10 after. You think we'll be all right with a oh, double, we'll, double we'll have, Yeah, we'll have time. I wouldn't want to own that car. Yeah, let's use that shot. Yeah, Great. good. That's a good shot, Steve. Great story, Rubber. right? That's nice. Okay, uh, okay. I think a minute 50 will, uh, sounds like a good piece. Fine, we'll use good. It. Okay, It'll stand up a minute. Good, take care. Okay, Steve. To help illustrate his stories, the producer orders about 16 graphic illustrations per show, drawn up by staff artists. They are later photographed onto cells for projection behind the anchormen. I win. Geraldo on six. Geraldo Rivera was a lawyer before becoming a TV reporter. He breaks with tradition in openly expressing his opinions on the air. I thought we were going to use the tape recorder. Uh, well, we're going to try this one out. So, uh, I think it'll probably work even better. Okay. Is that new? It's the wireless mic. You know what yeah, we're doing no, with this? Yeah, but it doesn't look like the one I had to wear that time. Which, don't you think he's going to recognize you? I don't care if he recognizes me, as long as he doesn't recognize my microphone. Well, if he <laughs> recognizes you, then he's not going to say what he bought. Well, I'm just going to confront them. I'll say, well, what do you mean? You bought 10 cups of coffee in a half an hour? Who's kidding who? You bought some heroin, didn't you? Rivera is at his best exposing serious injustice and bringing the shocking conditions of mental institutions, old people's hospitals, and drug-ridden slums to television. He has changed people's awareness and has often brought about constructive action. And I know that this is true because I bought it, you know, off the streets, right, and from clinics. While heading back to the newsroom, the crew is diverted to another story. Calling Unit 5. Unit 5. This is Unit 5. Go to the ITT building. Park Avenue and 51st. I'll send you a courier. Okay, good enough. Tell him to look for us so he can stick with us in case the thing moves. That way he can just jump in the car as soon as we've got it in the can, over. Rivera agrees with ABC policy that people watching TV in their living rooms respond better to reporters who are natural. I see the newsman just as being more than a conduit of information. There's no reason why he has to stand on Mount Olympus and lecture the people as to what he's seen in coolly objective terms. This is Curry Van Zyl. Can you give me the mayor's schedule? Tony, we're going to need a curry on that, too. ITT. Oh. 
Wherever you see this movement, that, that's what I want. I want to show like, like streams of humanity flowing. At this time, the anchormen arrive to write their stories and go over the script. This Vietnam package is incredibly The producer briefs Bill Butel. I've got it all broken down. If I give you a little flight plan with uh, uh, the angle I want you to cover and the, the amount of time, and the RPs and the whole works, right down, piece by piece. Fine, all right. And irons out a point with anchorman Roger Grimsby. Uh, right over there, that's on tape. Right. Tape goes here. On the producer's orders, stories are polished and changed. Graphics are photographed on cells. More film edited. Get him clearing the streets. Camera crews from rival TV stations converge on the scene as traffic on Park Avenue is blocked. The courier arrives to get the first roll of film. As he speeds it back, another is quickly loaded. Rush to the newsroom, a desk assistant speeds the film to the lab. It will be ready in only 40 minutes. Once the producer has numbered the script sheets, a desk assistant sorts the copies. One for the associate director, the anchor man, the director, the audio man, the producer. The basis of everything now, the script is copied onto teleprompter rolls in large type, easily read by the anchor man. The director and associate director check every second of the script's timing. What's the DEF on there? 52, commercials are on 33. One film change. The film from the demonstration has been developed. Then it will be edited and taken to the studio projectors. Back before six to write his story, Arado Rivera has left his camera crew at the demonstration to shoot more action. Bye-bye. Uh, Stocks, my camera two. Hello. Uh, I beg your pardon, cello one. It's on cello one. Yeah. Limbo. OK. At 5.45, all is ready. And Bill Butel joins Roger Grimsby for the trek down the block to the studio. You better get going, Bill. I guess it's time. If we can fill a half an hour. Cigars. I don't mind it today, but when it's raining, it's miserable. Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Change cell. However, there are compensations, aren't what there? What are they? <laughs> All right, let's do the page. Yeah, Roger starts it off with 2, 3, 3, A, 4, Bill, 3, 5, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10. You did this on purpose. I'll work you in on page 11 and 12. You're going to work me in here at 11? Roger, 13 and...
39A, 38B, 38C, 38D, 39, Bill 39A. That's terrific, Steve. You do act like Lieutenant Commander of the Navy. Full Commander, three broad strikes. Bill. It's Bill. After all, it's our war now. Say something funny. Stand by, here we go. Okay, stand by. Ten seconds. Five. Team, we'll have a finish better. Team on the run out. Stand by to take this camera three. The six o'clock report in color with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, and the eyewitness news team. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. Clifford Irving has been subpoenaed to appear in a Los Angeles court. The producer watches anxiously as the show, ink on paper, images on film, comes alive in the hands of the television director and the personalities on screen. With split-second timing, the director picks shots from 16 screens, directs the floor manager and three cameramen. Unlike national news shows, this local show is live. And mistakes cannot be erased. In that area and caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. Bob Lape covered it as this report. Bob? Bill, this was a very stubborn problem, one that city water supply crews had not licked fully four hours after it began. The pipe, almost 100 years old, loosing tons of water into the street in nearby basements. The nursing homes parking lot, with both cars and trash cans awash in the sudden tide. Men around the maypole. <laughs> During the film report, the producer has time to warn Bill Butel of an impending change. Yes, I told you, never call me here. You don't think that we ought to make that the first demonstration story instead of the one that we do have, number five? Roll 30. Show them a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 30. And even if it is, as Mr. Kretschmer said earlier, the cleanest block in town now, the city says that block on East 80th Street will be closed indefinitely to traffic due to the damage done the pavement. Bill? Thank you, Bob. 68% of the precincts have reported, and it appears that... Stand by camera two, ready to tighten up on Bill and the URP. Those are the people are. Because of the latest film reports from the ITT demonstration, the script must be changed in mid-show. After making the necessary changes, the producer sends the story with a desk assistant down to the studio floor during a commercial break. Three A stay as three. Would you run it up? No. Prompter, we're on we're on page five now. But uh, why don't you why don't you just come up to page eight and I'll do page five. Uh, oh, seven eight is in the script. And come up to page nine. Beautiful. Seconds. Stand by to take camera two. Take two. We told you earlier about the protest against the war along Park Avenue that turned into some violence. Geraldo Rivera went to cover it. He's back now with this report. Geraldo? Bill, with anti-war sentiment running as strongly as it does here in the city, there was never any question that the most recent escalation of the fighting in Southeast Asia would cause renewed demonstrations against the war. Take it. It was all peaceful enough with the demonstrators making the point that the same company that makes Wonder Bread, Twinkies, and Morton's Pot Pies is also manufacturing hardware for the air war. Then came the turning point, and what had been a non-violent demonstration turned ugly. The mounted police were given the order to move them, and all hell broke loose. I saw several of the demonstrators clubbed and dragged away, and I also saw one of the mounted policemen injured by a missile thrown by a demonstrator. Stand by, take 30.
Stand by camera two. Take two. The demonstration was still going on when I left about an hour ago, and I have absolutely no idea how many people were arrested or how many protesters or policemen were hurt. But I do know that I hate that ugly war. It's being fought across the world, but it's setting Americans against Americans right here at home. Well, your news is good news. I'm Roger Griffith. I'm Bill Butel. Thank you very much, and have a good evening. <laughs> Are we using those anymore? There were no deli lights on that camera. Well, they never work any of them. No, it's not. They're all it. You know, I wonder why they can't make the tally light light all the way up instead of just a little top on the, on the top.